right now, I want to talk about T-Mobile. It's growing faster than any other cell phone company in the country. AT&T growing. Verizon struggling, trying to come up with a new image in the marketplace. In fact, I just saw one of those advertising marketing articles about how Verizon has spent the last, I think, five years trying to figure out who it is and what it is. Um, and so these companies now facing just the three of them, the three stooges, still what we had before, which was four national players, they've been pushing prices up. And they're going to keep pushing them up. And T-Mobile maybe has been the most aggressive of trying to push prices up on people that were in older, cheaper plans. And so if you feel like you only have these three to choose from, think again. The market has changed. Now, originally, I was really excited that there was going to be this fourth player it's owned by the guy who owns Dish Network. And so far, they haven't been able to get any traction. I'm hoping that at some point they will, building out a national network, and that they're going to be able to come in. They're always price aggressive. Uh, the guy who founded it, named Charlie Ergen, they're very price oriented. And I'm hoping at some point they will become the aggressive fourth national player that was promised. So far, it's a big yawn. They're charging, by the way, I should tell you, they charge $25 a month, unlimited everything, on a 5G cell phone plan called Boost Infinite. The marketing of it, though, has been abysmal, and the uh, uptake rate around the country just isn't there. But you know who has come out of nowhere to make a big difference? The cable monsters. My goodness. I mean, I have spent my entire career being upset with the cable monsters. And in this area, they're doing a great thing for your wallet. And people are signing up for it like mad from the cable operators, the two biggest, Comcast and Charter are signing up people by the millions for their cell phone plans. And listen what they've done that's just ingenious. Okay, so when you sign up for internet service with one of the cable monopolies, and you're paying them this huge money for internet service at your house, part of your contract says they get to use piggyback on your internet connection for free. So what the cable monsters have done is just beyond genius. It's something I talked about like 10 years ago that was being done in parts of Asia. So what they do is they grab that internet signal from people's houses and run their cell phone service off of their internet background backbone they put through all the neighborhoods where they're wired. That's why they only market in markets where they have the cable monopoly. And they're, they're I'm telling you, they're getting huge take up because their rates are so much cheaper than from the big three. So what happens when you're not in their service territory? They then turn around and buy capacity from their very competitors. So for you as a consumer, it's seamless. So uh, if you're a longtime listener to me, you know who figured this out in the United States. It was a company called Republic Wireless. Remember, Krista, when I used to talk about Republic Wireless I from do. Research Triangle, North Carolina? Mm -hmm. They were pioneering geniuses, and they ended up selling out to who knows who, and I guess that brand doesn't might exist. I don't even know. But... Uh, they, they, they paved the path that Comcast and Charter and now the smaller um, Cox and I'm sure others are going to do it as well 
where they are offering you, if you are their captive in one of their cable monopoly markets, don't ignore the offers you're receiving for cell phone service because it may reduce your individual bill or family bill by a very large amount, bringing for a family plan at least $1,000 a year back into your pocket. Who couldn't use a spare $1,000? Now, I'm not even talking about all the other companies that we write about on Clark.com that are offering phenomenal deals that are no names. And what I love is so many people are now open to going to one of these no names that are offering cell phone service. Uh, survey that was done recently found, oh, first of all, the Comcast thing, 11% of their customers have switched from one of the big three to Comcast in their service territories. That's fantastic. And 30% of people are very likely to consider switching from one of the big brand name cell phone companies to one of the no names, the types we write about in our briefings on Clark.com. It's your money. You don't have to let your pocket get picked by these big three cell phone carriers who every morning get up trying to figure out how to pick more dollars from your pocket. Don't let them do it. We do have a special shortcut. It's clark.com slash best phone plans if you want to see that content. And it really is awesome. How do you know awesome. all these things? Um, Sally, our managing editor, tells me what to say. 